Semitic languages, um, you can do that. And we can we can teach. You got one more there? Yes, we do. From Francis and Dar es Salaam in uh, Tanzania. Cool. Um, uh, Tanzanians, uh, I've known a number of them as students, uh, Jesuit uh, students, and they're great, great folks. I'd love to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. That would be so neat. You know, I, anyway, I, I would love to look at a beautiful painting of it. You no, know, I want to climb it. Uh, dear Father Rich, the Seventh Advocates preached that Constantine was responsible for changing the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday in the fourth century. <coughs> Wrong answer. Um, what authorities can we give to defend that Sunday worship began in much earlier times, and what reasons for this change can we cite? Thank you, and God bless you all. Francis in Dar es Salaam, uh, Tanzania. Well, the, first of all, Constantine did not change it. That's just not true. They're making that up. What Constantine did is make Sunday, which was an already existing day of, for celebrating the liturgy, he made it a day off. So he gave Christians off uh, uh, for that day. Under the earlier empire, it wasn't. It was a regular work day. So it was Saturday. So it was Friday. Every day was a work day. So I uh, didn't have a day. So he made it. A, he made it a day off. The Christians were worshiping on Sunday. For instance, in the Book of Revelation in the New Testament, Francis, you see that John has his um, vision on the Lord's Day. That was their term for Sunday. That's why in um, uh, we call it Sunday in English. But that's not what they call it in other languages. In Catholic countries, like France and um, uh, Spain, it's Domingo, that is, the Lord's Day. And, um, uh, but in German and in English, it's named after the sun, uh, Zonstag, uh, uh, in, in German. Um, that's just an accident of the language, that's all. And the uh, Lord's Day is Sunday. We also see in 1 Corinthians 16 that on the Lord's Day they took up the collections because they were already at the Mass. Also in St. Justin Martyr, they continued to do this. They continued to worship on Sunday, that is the Lord's Day. And uh, he says so in his defense of the faith against trifle. Um, so you can see all those. Take a look, Francis, at a, an encyclical you can get online from EWTN.com. It's called The Lord's Day by St. John Paul II. He gives that data and shows that the reason we did it is the Jewish people of the Old Testament celebrated the seventh day as their day of rest because it was part of the old, it was the end of the old creation on which they rested. Christians began to celebrate the liturgy on the Lord's Day in the first century and continue to do so because Jesus Christ rising from the dead gloriously is the one who brought a new creation. Look at 2 Corinthians 5, when he says we are now a new creation. Therefore, the new creation begins on the first day of the week, which is uh, oftentimes called the eighth day. In fact, baptistries in, from ancient times had eight sides, mm -hmm. and early churches had eight sides to celebrate that Sunday is the eighth day, the beginning of the new creation. And that's why we celebrate on Sunday. Just getting started on an open line Wednesday. Father Mitch is in the house. The number is 1-800-585-9396. Toll free anywhere in North America. 1-800-585-9396. Open line Wednesday with Father Mitch. <laughs> 